quickly before we get into the video, my cat, Tsuki, right here. The other day, she did a big yawn in front of me and I saw that her tooth was really red, like the gums around it was, was really red. And then I touched it and it wobbled so much, I instantly put my hands in my head. I was like, oh fucking hell. So long story short, I took her to the vets and she had to get her tooth taken out and I cried in the vet's office as it was happening. So that was good because I love my cats with all my heart. No matter how small it is, I'm gonna get very upset. And the receptionist, because it was a really small place, it was just me, the vet, the receptionist. The receptionist didn't know how to handle it. She's like, oh. <laughs> Fuck's sake. When I came home, she didn't really recognize her properly. And there's loads of hissing and growling. It's been a stressful few days. It didn't cost me too much. It cost me 110 pounds and I make one pound 50 a video. So that's like a hundred plus videos I'd have to make to make that money back. So if you guys want to help that not hurt me as much, please hit the PayPal up. Two quid, three quid, 50 quid, anything at this point. They said, that her breed is quite prone to tooth loss. So next time I see a little tooth wobbling, I won't get so upset because I know that it's fine and they can survive without it. But they did suggest that I get some toothpaste and start brushing her teeth. So we're gonna start doing that every night, aren't we, my love? She was a very good girl though. Here's a picture of her on the screen sitting in her little cat box. She didn't move, didn't meow, didn't do anything. She was a great kitten. Anyway, thanks for listening. On to the video. It's been a while since I've done a Don't Tell the Bride video, so I thought today would be a good time to do it. And I'm also wearing my glasses. Didn't mention that. You don't need to mention it. I'm not wearing glasses. <laughs> but once again, I looked at some articles and I found one that was based around like football. I thought that'd be quite funny to watch. I also am not a fan of football. Only when it's the World Cup. England. It's time to watch one where they get married at Stoke. Stadium, Stoke FC. Let's keep it stum in front of the woman that's gonna put a ring on her finger. <laughs> Name a better intro than that one. Goes so hard. When you hear that going, you go, oh, don't tell the brides on. Pottery capital, Stoke on Trent, is where bad boy Levi. Bad boy, guarantee he's not a bad boy. And as I paused, it paused on this frame. So Channel 4 got involved and said, we want you to do that. And they said, go ahead. And you had the look and the talk and the walk. That is a bad boy right there. Is he just trying to be Liam Gallagher? She said the walk, yeah? You know the walk was like this. I love some hot dogs in He seemed to be the first one that was kind of doing everything. Clubbing, drinking. He was the first one to club? Surely not. You always want a bad boy, don't you? <laughs> I would say the only thing that's bad about them their fringes. Bangs for my American audience. Whenever I'm, I know that something is not interesting, I know I'm already not gonna put in the video. The girl's a goody two shoes, and he's a smoking drinking from the age of 11. That's basically it. We don't need to see it. Typical English lad at 12 years old, smoking it up, man. <laughs> drinking it up, man, yes, man. Level-headed lifeguard instructor Jade rescued Levi from a world heading off the deep end. Needing a woman to put you on the straight and narrow, grow up. She saved me. How about you realize that you're being self-destructive and put an end to it? Why do you need a woman to tell you not, not to do bad things? <laughs> I don't think it's no secret that I've changed you in some ways yeah. too, I mean. Can I just say, we have an hour of this and his voice really annoys me because he's, spe he's speaking with that short of voice. Don't worry about all shit, like, cos I'm a bad boy, I don't put, fuck it, I don't put milk away. When I go to the bathroom, I lose tap on some tap. It's gonna piss me off. It's really gonna annoy me. The music side's a big one. Obviously, Jade was a big pop music fan. I wasn't a pop music fan. <laughs> what are the chances that he listens to Oasis? <laughs> Nothing more bad boy than working in the office. Grrr, grrr. I'd say I wear the trousers. Jade wears the trousers because I wear them. He always this episode is nearly 10 years old, yeah? And I'm sure that she's off to heaven. She's off. See you later. Put in a good word for me. Nah. Yeah, she's been sent to hell. Bad news. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this episode's like 10 years old, yeah? But I think that the phrase, where's the trousers, is still used. 
But I think that that's just such an archaic description of a relationship. No one in the relationship should wear the trousers. It should be just an equal thing. No, where's the trousers? So she's in charge or he's in charge. That's mental. It should be an equal Mm-hmm. 12 months on, they've bought a home together and are engaged to be married. How? How? Oh, it's Stoke. Where is Stoke on trend? It's in the Midlands, just a bit above Birmingham. Okay. So cheap as fuck is how they managed to buy a house. I sorted out the mortgage and the house, so he, this is his way of repaying me. Now was my time, you know, to step up and... God, when he said step, it was like I just jumped in a puddle and my glasses are covered. You know, make her proud of me, because the day she did save me from, from where I was and I owe her. He said she saved him, as we've established, so he is going to get married in a football stadium, I think. You've really paid her back nicely, haven't you? Good lad you are. Noel. I'm going to call him Noel until I know his name. My perfect wedding day would be country, vintage, very personal. I like her. So I hope that she doesn't get emotionally abused here. I'm just pretty confident that what I give to her is going to be a lot better than anything that she could throw together. Nutcase. Noel, you're a nutcase. She wants something country, vintage, oh, nice and quiet. Football. Better than what she wants, yeah, you fucking imbecile massive wedding something that no one will forget especially the people in the area his fuck it his voice is really getting to me i am four minutes in and his voice is oh it's grating me do you not notice that you're doing that just change the way your lips sit it's time for jay to pack her bags and i've got a teddy that levi bought me oh his name's levi like the jeans or like the jamaican man that made the Reggae reggae sauce. <laughs> Shout out Levi Roots, man. Let's go. And it smells like him, so I'm taking it with me. It smells like him. Cologne and cigarettes. Oh, I miss you, Levi. Oh. Jade and Levi won't see each other again until their wedding day. This is like my fourth video I've done, Don't Tell the Bride. They always cry because they're going away for three fucking weeks. There's no way he's going to get upset. He's too hard. Or oh, he's going to put sunglasses on and pretend. But the music they usually put is some sad piano. This time, what's this? I'm with you, Jay. I'm good, Sarah. That was the perfect goodbye there. Usually, the other ones, they're crying. Oh, I've got to see you for three weeks. This was like, right, have a good time. See you later. I'm not going to see her now for three weeks. I'm surprised how upset I am. God, you know what's mad? That bowl of water that he's using to wash the dishes, it's all from his spit, from his stalkies like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not going to get over his fucking voice. I'm really, uh, there's going to be 10 more jokes about his voice. I'm sure, minimum. Back at Levi's, the groom is about yes, to Yes, man, of course his friend friends. looks like that. Childhood pal and best man, Damo. He knows what he's doing. Can't see him really messing it up too much. Oh, I've got to listen to both of them speak. I've got to listen to two of them. Do you think he's going to do something out of the extraordinary, Jay? Because Damo is, he's a fruitcake. Do something out of the extraordinary. So normal then. Cheers, Dad. <laughs> Biggest prioritise for me is the it's obviously the stag do. Biggest prioritise for me. I'm having a, I'm just having so much fun today. What do you think about a male stripper? <laughs> I think that was Damo coming out, but subtly. Got something to tell you, Lionel. Not Lionel, Le Levi. Got something to tell you, Levi. Le Levi Roots. I'm gay. I've been holding it back for so long. Can we get a male stripper for me? Because I'm, I'm coming out to you. We're best friends, aren't we? I love you, Levi Roots, Rega Rega. So <laughs> <sighs> I'm sweating as well. It's fucking nearly summer and I'm sitting here in a shirt and jeans. I don't tell me I don't show up. I didn't iron it though because I'm not making that much of an effort for you. Them pair will probably act like it's them two getting married and they'll be getting all excited. That's 100% what's happening because Damo's come out as gay. I respect him. Oh wait a sec as well. The dad, he said he's a bit of a fruitcake. That's homophobic? And it's heading round to his house. Could be a uh, special visit, mate. What do you mean? What have you ordered a kebab? Clearly scripted. What, what, what do you mean if you ordered a kebab? Well done, Damo. Meet Potamus, mascot to Stoke City Football Club. Let's just take it off. Potamus, fuck it. This is the big, massive 
Ah, it's uh, What do you mean, the Is that the male stripper underneath? You got me male stripper, Levi Red Reggae Reggae Sauce. Oh, thank you so much. I didn't think you'd accept me because you're a bad boy, you know what I mean? But you've really embraced me. Oh, it's not. It's just the mascot you can have wedding at stadium. Oh, fuck you. Now for a sing-along. Why, 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 why do I love to Stoke's legendary anthem, Delilah. Why is that their anthem? If any Stoke-on-Trent fans are watching, why is Why, 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 Delilah their theme song? Tell me some history. Oh shit, I'd completely forgot about last week's video where I said I would shout out the worst comment. In my video, if you didn't watch it, I said, give me the worst drink that you can possibly imagine and I'll shout out the one that made me hurt the most inside. And it was this one. Milk and dog hair? No thank you. Imagine having a warm glass of milk and there's just like bits of hair. Uh, so. Thank you to that one. It was not fun. Really, you're my only daughter. I would have liked, you know, to, to be involved in perhaps more planning and because I'm not going to get that chance now. Way to make it about you, Mum. Isn't it? They always do, don't they, Mums? What about me? My mum sometimes gets on me. It's like, why aren't you having any kids? Why can't I be a nan? You think I'm bringing anyone into this fucking hellscape? Absolutely not. If I didn't have any cousins, the lineage would be ending with me and I would be cheering. I'd be putting my thumbs up like at the end of Terminator 2 where he's sinking in the lava. That'd be me. See you later. Fuck off. I would like to think he's putting me first or at least considering us as a couple. You want to be facing the, the boob and yeah. so that at the end you can run and take a penalty. <laughs> you just got married. You go take your penalty and you just whiff it <laughs> right over the bar. So I'm cutting it out because who cares? She wants the normal traditional wedding and she's like, oh, I hope he doesn't do something crazy in front of loads of people. And he's doing it in front of loads of people. So you don't need to see that. That was quicker. It's all in the hands of club representative Rob Pass. We were thinking about potentially getting married down there. You can't, guys, I'm sorry. Well, there we go. All of that waste of time. Every bit that's building up to that. Sorry, guys, you can't. Oh, fucking, we could have skipped that. Again, I'm cutting a lot of this shit out because who cares? They got a resounding no from the guy saying it's booked, fully booked. They're trying to get it done on, like, the final match of the season, all that shit. He said, sold out, can't do anything. He's gone, maybe we'll give it one more shot. If they say yes, it's all scripted bollocks, as if we didn't know that already. I was just wondering if you might be available for, for us to come and see you again, just for another quick chat. Internet's gone, isn't it? The club have come through with a one-time only offer to hold the whole wedding on match day with a marriage blessing on the pitch at half time. The first ever in its 150 year history. Whoa, can you see I'm already bored? Look how I'm sitting. I noticed I always end up like proper falling into my chair halfway through a video. None of that was words then. That was thanks for making dreams good you yeah 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 if she's a mad stoke fan like Levi is then she'll uh, she'll have a great day. I hope that it now cuts I'm sorry I'm hungry I'm gonna eat a snack jack. I hope that it now cuts I hope that it now cuts there saying I, I don't even like football that much that's what I want to hear. You'll get you married on the pitch in the centre circle. <laughs> I don't like football. I don't understand football. Surely it's fucking scripted at this point. At this point, what, 10 years ago? His mum, Nikki. He's come to share the good news. Her hair is unreal. I love it. Actually getting married in front of all those people. Really? That's why I'm having I another one. Because so I know I'm not keeping They're there talking over to me. Stoke. Disrespect. And they're going to see if I was Jade, I'd be thinking, oh my God. And as they speak now, OMG. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Mum. That was a good one. Will this military man make of his only daughter getting married on match day? She likes to organise a lot of the stuff herself. Why did they have to have this conversation while he's on the treadmill? Is it to give you the illusion that he's fit? I can see he's got two chins. <laughs> if she's not happy, then I won't be happy. And then he has a heart attack then in there. <laughs> <laughs> 
as long as she ends up with a nice dress, I think she'll be happy. If not, then he's dead. <laughs> Just like me! Ooh! <laughs> you don't want it to be too much on that part of it. Because she doesn't. I do. Oh, you do. <laughs> Sorry, Levi. Just don't really get the, the appeal of breasts, you know, because I came out as gay earlier, you know, I just really like a nice set of balls. I've cut loads out again. She cried looking at a dress. He went, oh yeah, I like that one, whatever. Who cares? And now the groundskeeper, whatever the fuck it is, has come on and said you can't wear heels on the pitch, so you're going to have to put football boots on. It's only 15 quid. Proper red and white stripes. Oh my fucking lord, man. <sighs> we owe it to her to give her a... A quality undo. A cheat night down the local. No! No! How did these men find women that want to marry them? I don't fucking get it. Levi's belting out Oasis songs. What a shock. What a shock. And yes, that really is them. The number one Oasis cover band in the local area. Forgive me for what I'm about to say. I'm not the greatest man in the world. In my head I am. I wish that I found joy in more things. I would feel so pathetic and like I'm a dickhead if I spent my stag do, for one I, I would not have a stag do because I've got no friends, my stag do at an Oasis impersonator, the, the number one local Oasis impersonator performing for me and I've willingly paid to go and see that and I'm having the time of my life. I wish that I could do that. I fucking... I hate that I don't enjoy these things. And I'm being genuine with you right now. I wish that I just found joy in more things. Do you know, the only thing I actually enjoy doing is making videos. This. So, share me with your friends and help my dream come true of getting one viewer video. There's no sense of superiority in my head or arrogance. I genuinely wish I was like this. Style conscious lads have a plan to save money. Style conscious lads. Have they not seen their trims? That's an outlandish statement to make. Did you hear that when I said statement? Their accents are rubbing off on me. Fucking internet keeps going off, man. It's a dinosaur game that you keep hearing me play. And time for Jade to see the dress Levi picked out for her. It's just maybe a bit boring. Just like this episode, the amount I've cut out is unbelievable, man. Maybe for another Don't Tell The Bride video, I'll look for like the best one, where it was just the most amazing wedding. Jeez. It's good. What's she cry a bit boring? What did you want? I didn't really want to get married in a church or Stoke Stadium. <laughs> they were off limits. She's saying she hopes it isn't Stoke. She's been saying many times that she doesn't want it at Stoke Stadium. All of these things. I guarantee at the end she's going to go, well, I'm marrying him and it were all worth it. Because they seem to do that in the end. They're like having a little cry going, this isn't going to be good enough. Uh, wah, wah, wah. At the end, like, yeah. Love them, gonna suck him off later. He's done a great job. Mental. Stoke have just gone 1 0 up against Spurs. Yes, man! Woo! Come on! Come on, Tom! Very special. Thank you! See, that's cute. And I've also paused on a moment where I know that at least three of the people in this image are dead. May they rest in peace. But this bit's cute. I like it. Dad, I've never even been to watch a football game, yet I'm going to get married in a football stadium. So now the whole family and stuff have realised that it's at Stoke and Trent Stadium. It wasn't worth showing. They went, oh, what's he done this for? Oh, no, you're joking. And, uh... Every guy wants this done, and I can't believe I'm the bird that has to go through with it. <laughs> oh. Again, a woman just accepting her fate and saying, oh, the man's fucked up again. Women, I respect you. Present. Am I seriously meant to be putting these on? Oh my God. Well, at least you can't see them under the dress. <laughs> She's strapped up, man. It's time for Jay to meet her man in front of almost 28,000 football fans. This would be a nightmare. I feel like I would go through this in a nightmare and wake up in a hot sweat going, ah, ah, ah. Oh, fucking, oh, this is horrible. Our time today is strictly limited to two minutes, so it's gonna be the condensed version. <laughs> this is horrific. Man shouting over the intercom. They couldn't even tell the man to shut up for two minutes. To share my dreams and hopes with you, to spend the rest of my life 
life with you. <laughs> I can't wait to spend my life with you. I love you. These. Sorry, mate, can't hear you. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> The one thing that I'm concerned about is the fact that she had to put on football boots and they stood at the corner flag. They didn't even like go onto the pitch properly. So it was all just a meme to make us go, oh, that's crazy television. Now for the entrance of the bride and groom to a room full of football fans. <laughs> it's not even people that they know as they're walking through. Oh, this sucks. He's just done it perfect. I just couldn't have done it better myself. You see what I fucking mean? He's done it perfect. How many times does she say, I don't want to get married at the football stadium? And then she's saying it's perfect. I couldn't have done it better myself. If she was in control with all that money and had it in that little town place that I've all cut out the video so you don't even know what I'm talking about. Typical woman's generic wedding. Tell me that wouldn't have been better. You cope. Cope more. I know it's not every woman's uh, wedding dream, but let's be honest, it's every lad's. <laughs> I couldn't think of something worse. Maybe I'm not a lad. That's where, where I'm going wrong. I'm not a lad. I'm just some, some guy. And there's still time for the newlyweds to take their seats for the second half. No, I would like, I would like if Stoke ended up losing this match and put a little bit of a downer on it because he probably finds the match final being more important than his wedding. But with Stoke losing 2-1 to Spurs, will... <laughs> ah, ruined it, ruined it. Very proud of you. Mm. All right, I get it. I understood. I fucking had to see them kiss a thousand times. I understand. You want to shag her now. You want to shag your missus. He is who he is. And he's done what he wanted. And I'll have to deal with it, like I always do, because he is a bad boy, isn't he? And that was the end of that. I don't know how I felt about that. They seem to go well together, but they always do in these episodes. The woman ends up going, yeah, right, whatever. And just gets on with it. And the man fucks about the entire time. If you got this far in the video, leave a comment saying, Kane cried at the vets, pass it on. <laughs> because I cried at the vets. So yeah, once again, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you guys want to help out the channel a little bit, PayPal links in description and Patreon. Got a couple people there each month, which is really nice. Here's last week's video. Go and have a watch of it. It's a good time. See you later. Yeah. <laughs>